mujeres, ustedes valen mucho, no lo olviden. Ahora vamos a ver cómo se celebró el Día de la Mujer aquí en el Colegio Claretiano. Ser mujer es el complemento del varón. Mujer es la, es la que Dios nos ha puesto para ser la, la piedra angular dentro de la familia. Bueno, ser mujer en ese tiempo es asumir muchos retos desde la vida personal, en las múltiples facetas como mamá, como amiga, como hija, como hermana. El, el ser mujer implica, yo creo, un compromiso muy importante dentro de la sociedad, ¿no? porque nosotros este, tenemos algo, una condición muy maravillosa que Dios nos dio ¿no? de ser madre. Ser mujer para mí significa este, asumir responsabilidades ¿no? en la sociedad. Pero hoy en día, ya por el mismo trabajo que se realiza, el hombre y la mujer, como realizamos actividades casi similares, entonces en la casa nos ayudamos mutuamente. También desde la perspectiva profesional es un reto constante porque tenemos que asumir los múltiples roles. Y el ser mujer implica amor, ternura, eh, unión. Nosotros somos la cabeza a pesar de que de, este, el rol de, del hombre en el hogar es en la cabeza, pero nosotros somos los que unimos a la familia, hacemos la familia, tenemos actividades que muchas veces se ha ido perdiendo en el tiempo, pero que sí, nosotros somos las organizadoras del hogar. Y por otro lado también implica este, dar este cariño, ternura a la, a la sociedad y también mi propia familia, ¿no? Y yo creo que nosotros somos ternura, unión, amistad. Me gusta ser chica porque soy única y especial. Para mí ser chica es salir con mis amigas todos los fines de semana y pasar momentos lindos con ellas. Salir a hacer muchas compras y probarnos ropa y divertirnos mucho. Okay, so I'm gonna just give you some actions to do. I just do the first thing that comes to mind. Show me what it looks like to run like a girl. My hair. Oh my God. Show me what it looks like to fight like a girl. <laughs> Now throw like a girl. Aww. My name is Dakota and I'm 10 years old. Show me what it looks like to run like a girl. Throw like a girl. Fight like a girl. What does it mean to you when I say run like a girl? It means run fast as you can. So do you think you just insulted your sister? No. I mean, yeah, insulted girls, but not my sister. Is like a girl a good thing? Actually, I don't know what it really, if it's a bad thing or a good thing. It sounds like a bad thing. It sounds like you're trying to humiliate someone. So when they're in that vulnerable time, between 10 and 12, how do you think it affects them when somebody uses like a girl as an insult? I think it definitely drops their self-confidence. 
and um, really puts them down because during that time they're already trying to figure themselves out and when somebody says you hit like a girl it's like well what does that mean because they think they're a strong person it's kind of like telling them that they're weak and they're not as good as them and what advice do you have to young girls who are told they run like a girl, kick like a girl, hit like a girl, swing like a girl? Keep doing it because it's working. If somebody else says that running like a girl or kicking like a girl or shooting like a girl is something that you shouldn't be doing, that's their problem. Because if you're still scoring and you're still getting to the ball on time and you're still being first, you're doing it right. It doesn't matter what they say. I mean. Yes, I kick like a girl, and I swim like a girl, and I walk like a girl, and I wake up in the morning like a girl, because I am a girl. And that's not something that I should be ashamed of. So I'm going to do it anyway. That's what they should do. If I asked you to, to run like a girl now, would you do it differently? I would run like myself. Would you like a chance to redo it? Why can't run like a girl also mean win the race?